What's good guys, welcome back to Ron's Rise, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video where I have something incredibly special behind me here today at Maserati Central Florida in Orlando. The first 2023 Maserati Ghibli F Tributo, the first special edition for 2023 as the Ghibli is on its way out. We got a couple special editions. This is the first one we've seen in the 2023 model year and it's the F Tributo. Now with that said, I'm gonna show you all around this F Tributo all these special options that make it different than any other Ghibli and then we'll break down the sticker price to see exactly how much an F Tributo is going to run you here at Maserati Central Florida. So with that said, let's get right to it. Now make sure you guys check out my boy Janiel here at Maserati Central Florida aka Johnny. He's the one who hooks me up with all these beautiful cars as soon as they come in. Make sure if you're trying to get one of these in your garage, you hit my boy up. His information will be in the links in the description. Make sure you guys go check him out. He's got the best inventory here at Central Florida, guys. First off, guys, wow, this is a showstopper. We talked about these, I mean, coming up earlier last year, I think it was, at sometime in the summer, we talked about the F Tributo models coming out, but I honestly forgot they were on their way, and this is not the only model that should be arriving. A Levante F Tributo and another Ghibli F Tributo should be on the way, but this is the first one to show up and does it look stunning. Now, look at this paint. Look at this paint, Grigio La Media matte, all right? This is close to what I believe the same color of one of the Primus Siri Maserati Gran Turismo Trofeos 175 will be showing up in. It is a beautiful sheet metal gray, sheet metal gray, I believe it is, or how it translates in English and it's not focusing in as well, but as you guys can see it, the paint is actually throwing off the camera. It's so crazy, so intricate. Now, Arancio are going to be the orange accents that you see all throughout the spec from the interior to the exterior. So there's a lot going on here. Now, while we see Grigio La Media here with Arancio accents, there's another F Tributo Special Edition that's going to be an Arancio Devil, which is going to be a fully orange vehicle. So be on the lookout for that. But why do we have the F Tributo? What is this all about? It's about celebrating Maserati's racing history, and it's about celebrating the connection of the first woman in Formula One, Maria Teresa de Filippis. Yes, this is all about her career as the She Devil. So, you know, hence the names and stuff here. Now, this is something that is just crazy for Maserati to do to celebrate what is female drivers in Formula One. So this is very special. Obviously, you guys can see with everything that is added to this car and it comes as is. So again, on a sticker breakdown, we'll see exactly what is on here because there's some special things I need to point out and what the price of all of this is. Now, starting from up front, you wouldn't think that anything has changed, but this actually has a special package on it called Nerissimo Exterior Characterization. What does that mean? Well, we know Nerissimo means the black pack, right? So it's gonna black some things out that we haven't had blacked out on any other Maserati before. Let's talk about it. This top piece on the grill here is done in black for the first time. Normally, even if you have the Nerissimo package, this is done in a chrome finish. Now you can see it in black and it looks really cool because it helps with the whole overall package. Also, your slats for your grill. Normally, you would only get these vertical slats with the center feed-throughs, all right, on a Trofeo model. Yeah, the one that, you know, has the twin turbo V8 with 203 miles per hour for that top speed. This is the grill that came with that model. You get it on the F Tributo, which looks a lot cooler, and it's gonna be a lot better for performance when it comes to cooling. So that's a really cool thing when it comes to the front. Now, you're used to the big Trident for level 2 ADAS. You have the black side blades, the black front lip, and the big honeycomb grill to go all throughout. So this all comes together quite nicely, but the big thing to take away is the exterior characterization for Nerissimo that blacks out that top lip of the grill and also the vertical slats done in the Trofeo way. Now this side profile is one of the most striking to me. Not only does it take my favorite wheel, the 21-inch Titano wheel in gloss black and put the Arancio accent all the way around it, well, you also have gloss black calipers with Arancio Maserati lettering and the drilled rotors to go with it, Pirelli P0 tires. That is a match made in heaven when it comes to a wheel setup. 
and then you come to the side fender here and that front fender also gets the F Tributo badge in Arancio with the gloss black portholes, all right? This is part of that Nerissimo exterior characterization package, our characterization package. So then you put it all together and wow, does that look really good from the side profile. I mean, just another closer look at this. That looks so cool. I love the way that they set this up and that Grigio Alameda paint is just to die for. Coming along the side, you will see the gloss black window motors to go with it, but then the C pillar shows off an Arancio orange trident. Yeah, again, it's just really cool to see. You never see these on Maseratis ever. This is the first time here we get the witness set and against this paint, it just stands out so much. It's so crazy how all of this blends together. Now, when it comes to the rear, we get that Nerissimo characterization package in a special place. Can you guys tell? For the first time, the accent going all the way across underneath the Maserati script is done in black. Again, it's part of that package to black out things that has never been blacked out on a Maserati before, and that is one of them. It looks really cool with the boomerang tails that are smoked out, the Maserati script, and the Ghibli bash. Now, part of me wishes that they did the Maserati script and Ghibli bash done in all black as well. It would have definitely just added to that symmetry when it comes to the black accents because then you have the exhaust tip done in black and you have the black rear diffuser as well as the honeycomb grill and it all looks good together i just would have loved to see it with the blacked out maserati script as well and the ghibli badge but again it still all looks really cool when you put it together like that i love the look of this spec now since this is based on the twin turbo v6 you're looking at 20, 18, 25 for your fuel consumption, premium fuel only, 20 city and highway, 18 city, and 25 for the highway. Now, if you guys are wondering about the performance here, well, it's a little bit of a trick. Yes, we have the twin turbo V6, all right? Still a great power plant, still a Ferrari derived power plant, but determining by the grill that gets the Trofeo grill slats, you would think maybe we would have gotten the Ferrari derived twin turbo V8 engine out of the Trofeo models, but Either way, this is still a wonderful engine and we know that we will not see this anymore in Maserati models as the new Gracale does not have it, as the new Gran Turismo does not have a version of this, as the new Levante and Quattro Portes when they come out will not have this engine because Maserati and Ferrari are no, mo no longer collaborating on engines and Maserati is making their own power plants. But this power plant, as you guys know, the blue shield means we have the higher of the two variants. So this is a twin turbo V6, three liter pumping out 428 pound feet of torque, 424 horsepower with a zero to 60 in about 4.7 seconds. Now you're looking at around 178 miles per hour for the top speed for this as well. And obviously it makes sweet Maserati music in sport mode. So without further ado, we should probably just hear that make its noise. Now, if you guys are enjoying the content so far, make sure you give the video a big thumbs up. Giving the video a like will help get it up in rankings, more people can see it, and we can have a better discussion on a new F Tributo Maserati Ghibli behind me here today. Now, when you step inside of the F Tributo, it's just as special as in the inside. Before we get in, aluminum Maserati side sill we've seen before, obviously, the aluminum pedals we've seen before. All right, the aluminum buttons for the seat adjustment we've seen before. When it comes to the door trim, well, we have Cuyo, all right, we have Nero, and we have carbon fiber with aluminum. All right, that's all of our leather and trim options here, but you will see orange stitching in the Cuyo leather here, something you haven't seen before. We also have the Harman Kardon sound system. All right, let those speakers blast. And then before I even get in this beautiful car, Piano Fluidy Natural Drill Leather Seats with orange stitching something you haven't seen before with the f tributo badging there or stitching in the headrest and a big trident look how pronounced that is matter of fact let's do this we'll put the window down and i want you guys to see it from the outside with the fender badge it's crazy that you can see how big this is and then from the outside 
how big that is. That's how pronounced it is if you put it into scale. It's crazy. All right, so with that said, let's step inside because this is a great place to be, right? I mean, come on, check it out. We know all about the Ghibli and what this is, you know, entailing with, you know, the options and all the, you know, design language and all that kind of stuff. So nothing new necessarily when it comes to that. But when you get the Cuyo leather with orange stitching all throughout, that's a really cool look when it comes to the spec here. And I really just enjoy the way that this all comes together. Again, not, not something I would ever kind of imagine, you know, orange against tan, you know, for the most part, but here it is. And then with the carbon fiber to add to that prestigeness and that racing heritage, I think uh, carbon fiber was the perfect selection when it comes to trims. Now, you guys know all about the Ghibli when it comes to the leather wrap steering wheel, all right, proper leather, aluminum paddle shifters, things like the 10.1 inch touchscreen, um, infotainment with the Uconnect 5 setup. We know all about Mia, Maserati Intelligent Assistant. All the technology you get here is the latest uh, technology for Uconnect 5. Underneath, you guys will see the wireless charger, USB-C and 2.0 for the plug-in. And then you will see the two-track system for the gear shifter here. So we can go over to manual or just use it normally. You also see that we have our traction off, start, stop, ice, which is our driving mode that will give us the most fuel consumption, sport, which will open up those valves and give us a little bit more roar out of that twin turbo V6. And then we can also soften the dampers there as well with the active suspension. Now you also have your hot keys for your radio and for your infotainment there. And then you have your cup holders, look beautiful, extra stowage and armrest with <laughs> extra plastic from the delivery. And then you go deeper in there. If it will focus, you will see some cup holders, but it doesn't look like it wants to see it that well. There we go. We can kind of, kind of focus in on that. And then other than that, I mean, all the great things you're used to, the analog dash, you guys know that this is going away because the Gracale and Trofeo, uh, sorry, the Gracale and uh, Gran Turismo and the MC20 all digital. So we know that the analog dashes are going away. Um, same with the clock, analog clock. A lot of the classic flavor that you guys are used to because we know that the Ghibli is not getting an update um, as we know it's on its way out. Now, with that said, there still might be a couple more special editions of the Ghibli. We'll have to wait and see what Maserati decides to do by the end of the year. But this is a good way to start it. In my opinion, I think this looks really good. Heated, cooled seats, heated steering wheel, Alcantara headliner, all right, your sunroof, just all the good stuff that you need out of a Maserati model in 2023. It is here in the F-Tributo. Really love this flavor, really love this spec. Now we have the same love in the rear per usual. Nero leather, carbon fiber, all right, Cuyo leather, Arancio orange stitching. I mean, it all looks good and dandy together with the Piano Fluidi natural drill leather seats and the stitch trident and the headrest. It doesn't say F Tributo like up front, but that's just fine. You get the point, right? <laughs> Beautiful back here as always. And you also have your cup holders and extra storage right there in the center. Now, it's nothing too crazy as far as the options, no heated seats, no um, rear sunshade, no extra charging, anything like that in the back um, compared to, you know, other models that have those options. So, again, it comes as is. You still have some great stuff, but it could be improved just a little bit. And, of course, I have to show you how everything looks all illuminated. We'll go to the darker side, darker side of the vehicle so you can see the full matrix LED headlamps with the switchback amber turn signals there. All illuminated you will also see right there in the mirror cap amber turn signal kind of showing up there all right and then in the rear boomerang tails with the fog lamp illuminated as well as you guys can see there all comes together so nicely and I couldn't imagine seeing this thing driving at night that's got to be crazy how this would glow on the road all right, guys, here we are, the 2023 Ghibli F Tributo with the Grigio La Media matte paint and the tan and orange interior or Cuyo and Arancio. We're looking at an MSRP of $108,900. Now, I told you this came as is. Yep, just like the other F Tributo models, no extra options. It's how you see it and how you get it. But that starting price starts off at $108 and ends at $110. 395 because of the 1195 destination with the 300 prepara preparation delivery. So it's as simple as that. So everything that it comes with here, 
you will see on the standard side of the page. Now, make sure you guys zoom in, pause it, see what you need to see in order to see if this comes with everything you would need on your Maserati Ghibli, but I guarantee that it comes with everything you need and more when it comes to the Ghibli because of this special edition model. Now, a couple of things to point out, obviously, you're gonna have the new paint, you're gonna have the new stitching and accents, you're gonna have things like I talked about here, remember the Narissimo exterior characterization package right there, all right, that's gonna give you the blacked out pieces, your pre foot and natural drill leather seats, tons of stuff here that you guys need to check out for this F Tributo. Again, at 108, I think it's well worth it for what you get here because this is special. It's gonna stand out in a crowd and it's gonna look good. Look good wherever you take this model. All right, guys, so with that said, at $110,000, to have something this unique, something this rare, something this cool, for the outgoing Ghibli model, what do you guys think? Is it worth it to you guys? I would pay every penny for this thing. This is so cool, I love it. Now with that said, if you guys did enjoy the video today, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Give the video a like, we'll help get it up in rankings, more people can see it, and we'll have a bigger discussion on the F Tributo Maserati Ghibli. Make sure you also check out the Ron's Rise you know, merch. You guys can get my social media links down there in the description as well. And if you guys wanna help further support the channel, always check the PayPal, Cash App, Venmo, and Patreon links just in case you guys want to donate a couple extra dollars to the channel, help keep the uh, channel going. I appreciate the love, guys. Thank you so much. Now, subscribe to the channel, but click that notification bell so you don't miss one video. And with that said, you guys be blessed. Have a great day. We will see you guys in the next Ron's Rise video. Peace.